Hello, this is Cameron with the Sea Butters channel, and today we're going to take a look at the new ThinkPad Yoga 12 versus the original ThinkPad Yoga. And a major difference that you have in between these two models is the original had uh, this kind of integrated trackpad that had no separate buttons that was super annoying to be blunt. Um, and the new one has brought back the original separated buttons on the trackpad. Um, other differences include uh, Haswell U versus Broadwell U over here. And this machine on the left, we have a i7. i7 5600U and on the original we have the i7 4600U both have 8 gigs of RAM both are running uh, 64 -git bit operating system and so pretty much the same spec machines both are running a 256 gig SSD this one is running a, a SATA uh, two and a half inch this is running a M SATA but it's still six they're both six uh, gigabit SSDs so they should be pretty comparable on speed uh, but what I really wanted to test was the new graphics capabilities of the Broadwell chip versus the Haswell chip and in order to do that I've loaded up kind of baseline newer game graphics at 720p on both of these machines and we're going to go ahead and start the benchmark of these machines and we're going to do them at the same time And they're both set to 720p, the exact same settings. Now I had this benchmark preloaded, but when I ran it for the very first time, uh, when I wasn't filming, the Broadwell actually loaded quite a bit quicker, which may be a little bit quicker SSD in that particular model. For the most part, they look pretty much the same. Of course, so you can detect more smoothness over here on the left-hand side on the Broadwell, on the newer one. One of the things that I'm going to be testing in the future, right now this is just kind of just preliminary stock configuration versus stock configuration, but I'm going to undervolt the Broadwell U and undervolt the Haswell U and see with undervolting and overclocking the GPU which of these two machines can eke out the most performance. Okay, so we see 26.8 average frames per second over here with a peak of 33 and on the newer machine 34.1 frames per second with a maximum of 40.7. So that's so that's about roughly 25% graphical improvement uh, using Broadwell U, which is pretty substantial, and it's nice to see. I'll also provide some power consumption numbers when I do the undervolting as well, so we can take a look at that. But all in all, Broadwell U, not a major upgrade in CPU performance, but if you need a little bit, graph little bit more graphical punch, it may just do it for you. Thanks for watching this quick video on the Sea Butters channel. Please subscribe and look for more videos soon.